Hello. I hope you're doing well. Um, so I got this postcard in the mail. Uh, and if you, first of all, if you live in Georgia, uh, no matter where you live, you probably also got a similar postcard uh, from your uh, voter registration office. And what it is, it, it basically uh, gives you, it's a precinct card, and it gives you all of your updated information in terms of uh, where you vote, as well as uh, what districts uh, that you are in. Um, uh, so for my particular uh, districts, uh, it lists the U.S. Congress, State Senate, State House, Judicial, County Commission, uh, City District, but there are no city elections uh, where I live this year, School Board District, which I do believe there is election, and then other districts. Um and on the flip side, uh, it gives you the name of the polling place uh, and uh, if your municipality has like a different location that they uh, conduct their elections, it would be listed under municipal polling place. Now for my particular card, the county polling place and the municipal polling place is one and the same. So it's the same exact information. Um, if you have any changes to your information, if you've moved, if you've married or whatever, uh, you go to mvp.sos.ga.gov uh, and that's where you can update all of your name and information. Um, and that's important because you know, many of you may have moved between like uh, early voting. The election, I think, is May 21st. The runoff, if needed, is June 18th. Some of you may have moved or relocated in that time frame. If you have not taken care of this uh, while you're moving, then you will have to uh, vote at your original location. <clears throat> And that's very important. And some of you may have moved counties. Uh, you live in one county and move to another county. Um, you cannot, you're going to have to completely change your information. And more than likely, they will not allow you to vote uh, in that new location. All right. So please get your information updated uh, this is something that I have uh, stayed on top of uh, since I first became a registered voter. Uh, when I was uh, when I turned eighteen on my eighteenth birthday, uh, March twenty eighth, nineteen eighty five, uh, I went to the historic Jefferson County Courthouse in Charlestown, West Virginia, uh, the the site of where John Brown uh, was tried and eventually hanged. Uh, over the you know the uprising at Harpers Ferry, I actually registered to vote at that location, and I and I remember that day very well. Uh, but the takeaway is there was no elections that year. Uh, the first election that I was eligible to vote in was 1986. I believe it was a congressional race. I think there were local races uh, in West Virginia. Uh, but I have never missed a an election since I first became a registered voter. I saw a recent uh, Washington Post article uh, where I think there were people in Maryland or Connecticut or somewhere uh, were being honored uh, because they uh, have been voting consistently for 50 years and such. And they were uh, awarded a certificate. And I thought that was fantastic. And then I thought, you know, that would be great. Uh, once I reach that stage, um, the challenge with me is I have voted in three different states. Uh, I first became a registered voter in West Virginia and voted in a few elections there. Uh, then I relocated to uh, Kentucky, which is where I was born. I uh, voted in, let's see, one, two, three, I think three elections there. And then, you know, since, I guess, 97, 98, um, 
I have voted uh, here in Georgia. Um, but I've kept, no matter where I've lived, I've kept on, on top of that. And not only that, um, I have uh, served as a poll uh, worker uh, in, in all three states. I was a poll, mat, a poll uh, worker in West Virginia. Uh, I worked the polls in Kentucky. And I was actually uh, a assistant manager and a poll manager here in Georgia for a few cycles. The election director called me one day and just said, you will be uh, managing this poll. And <laughs> and it was a great experience. Um, yeah, so um, my hat's off to those who uh, give of their time uh, to work the polls. But please... Make sure you, this. So this postcard is going to say official election mail. Uh, it may look like junk. It is not junk. Let me assure you. I know that there's a lot of things that will be stamped official in your mailbox that may not be official. This is official. This is absolutely official. And just look for... Um, your local county registration office, which you could easily Google to verify if that is the case. And for me, it's the Cab County voter registration, and that is the uh, exact address. Um, so, yeah, um, just, I want to make sure that everybody gets all of the information that they need uh, so that there's no excuse to go vote. And Tell people in your circles to go vote. Um, and it's also important, you know, not just because it's a presidential election year, but a lot of these down ticket races. On my precinct card, it's everything from Congress to county commission. And other than the municipal elections, I believe all of these seats are up. Um Actually, no, not the, I don't believe county commission is up this year. Not in my, not my district. Uh, but at any rate, this is an opportunity for you to become informed, become engaged, uh, to know what's going on. I will try my level best to post content uh, on my page to update videos. But here, but let me just stop to say, if you like these videos, please click below to subscribe. And I assure you, there will be additional videos that we will uh, possibly do a deep dive in this whole process because I get messaged, I get text, I get uh, people stopping me in the supermarket wanting information on um, voting, on candidates, and that type of thing. So, um I wish that we had these kind of resources when I first became a registered voter, um, you know, back, I don't know, 30, 38 years ago. Um, so we have so many resources out here, not, and, you know, the social media is, is also tremendous. Um, but become informed, become involved, um, you may have to do some digging when it comes to some of these local candidates. It should be out there. Um, people do not read like the physical newspaper that they did back 10, 20 years ago. Uh, back in those days, they most papers did a pretty good job in covering all of the local races. Uh, but now uh, that everything is pretty much digital, they really don't do that. So what that means is that the responsibility is yours to find out information about these candidates. Most candidates will probably have Facebook pages up. Uh, they may have a presence on TikTok, whatever. Um, if you know of a candidate that is running for the school board in your area, um, just type in school board. Um, along with your locality and the date of the election, 
And the search results should populate with those candidates that are running. Um, now, here's a caveat to that. Every election cycle, there's always candidates that will qualify uh, to run. And let me just say that everybody, everybody has a right to run. Okay. However, there are typically a few candidates that qualify to get on the ballot. And that's basically it. Uh, you know, we call them ballot. Uh, we, we have a term for them. I'm not sure what we call them, but uh, they just take up space on the ballot. They don't campaign. Uh, they don't uh, participate in any forums. You won't see any type of signs on the on the right of ways or anything like that. But uh, so you'll see a few candidates on your ballot uh, and you'll think, well, who is this person? I've never heard of them. And no matter how much research you do, uh, there won't be anything about them, period. And that's so that's just one thing to keep in mind. Um, but those candidates that are serious, that are interested in actually serving in office, uh, you should not have any problem finding any information about them. All right. So um, that's it. Um, but when you get this in the mail, actually put this on your refrigerator. All right. Um, I'm sure you have magnets on your refrigerator. Just, uh, stick it on the door and it, let's see, does it have the date of the election? Well, this one does not have the date of the election, but uh, if you go to the My Voter page at uh, the Secretary of State, uh, you should be able to find this information. All right. So just doing this as a public service. Uh, hope you are doing fantastic. And we will definitely speak soon. Until then, take care. And this is Kip.